Let's start keynote speech for Merpei Tech Fest. My name is Sogawa, City of Merpei. I also serve as CIO of Mercury and CISO for Mercoin. Today, I want to talk about a look back on Mercury Tech Conference that we held in 2018. Some of you have participated in this Mercury Tech Fest, but at the time, we haven't we hadn't launched Merpay yet, and we were still in the process of creating mission for Merpay. And we also talked about what we want to create for Mercury X. At the time, we were still in the process of creating Merpay, and we talked about how we're working on microservices and how we are going to build uh, trust, which is also relevant to Mercury X. And Mercury X is also uh, uses blockchain in order to rebuild something like Mercury. So today I'd like to talk about what's coming next for Mercury X. That's why I touched upon what we covered in Mercury Tech Conference. So today's session can be enjoyed by people who didn't participate in Mercury Tech Conference at the time. Next, I want to talk about the history of Merpay. Merpay was launched, released the ID Kesai in 2020 for iOS. And after that, we released mobile wallet for Android. Then we released the QR payment, QR code payment from uh, February to March in 2020. We released all the things so that people can utilize the sales balance they received from transactions on Mercury at all the places such as restaurants and convenience stores. After that, we released the deferred payment, which is called smart payment. Based on the trust of users they have received, created through their transactions on Mercury, without the topping on the account, they can use a smart payment we also released this online payment. I want to talk about uh, online payment first. In Mercury Merpay, we are striving to create a similar society, and we are create working on products. And what we wanted to do is that we wanted to create an environment where people can use money they receive through making transactions in Mercury. And also, we want to create a world where our users can sell something they have bought through Merpay. A secondary distribution. Was transacted in uh, serving for a lot of items such as money and items and items bought at for primary distribution can also go to secondary distribution, which means that you know we can create a more seamless society, which is in our Mercury and Merpay's mission. That's one of the reasons why we released the online payment. And we'd like to expand this world going forward. So we released all the things in 2019 for Merpay. Of course, it was not a grand release. We released several things over time, but uh, there are a lot of twists and turns until we were able to release Merpay. The company Merpay was established in 2017 and we held Mercury Talk Conference in 2018. So until then, we worked on a lot of features during that time. So what happened was that, you know, Merpay was one of the most difficult projects we worked on in the history of Mercury Group. Mercury has a value called All for One, which is about working 
with other members together to achieve the mission. And people in Mercury Group went to Merpay in order to help release and create Merpay product. Uh, it's not like we were able to release everything. Since uh, releasing big feature is really complicated, so we broke down the big features first. Then as a first step, we released several features in 2019 from May to July. Of course, all the projects were delayed. In 2017, this is the time we created the company. And when we held Mercury Tech Conference in 2018, we didn't have the product, but we just talked about what we want to achieve through Mercury X. But today, I'd like to talk about what we have achieved so far. And I'd like to also talk about our vision going forward. So today I'd like to talk about what's coming next for Mercury X. Since there were some delays, you know, now we it's a funny story now, but this project, managing this project was really hard because we had a lot of stakeholders in different industries uh, we are trying to improve situations and we are making uh, small releases. Of course, we are currently working microservices and so that we can prevent delays. I just uh, touched on microservice. This diagram also shows uh, microservices and this is a slide that I used at Mercury Conference in 2018. In 2018-17, as Mercury Group, we were working on microservice. MRPay serves as the payment platform for the Mercury Group. Of course, customers use MRPay, but MRPay also serves as the payment platform for the Mercury Group's uh, microservice. We released microservice in 2019 first, and the number of microservices has been increasing. First, we released 20 microservices in 2019, but now we have released about 64 microservices. At the same time, the complexity has been growing. So we just can't increase the number of microservices. I like to talk about what you know we have released so far later. Regarding commodity spots on the right side, uh, the timeline is different from the microservices, but about one year ago, it was like 750, but now it's 1,220. It's because the number of customers is increasing. Going back to the releases that we have made, after 2019 releases. I'd like to talk about what we released in 2020. As you know, coronavirus pandemic hit the world in 2020, which affected our lives. Of course, Mercury Group and Mercury, Merpay were affected by the COVID-19. We released send receive feature as well as Merpay smart pay feature. The reason why we released these features is that this send receive feature is not like offline feature, but rather points we you received on Mercury on Merpay, you can send or re receive these uh, points to your friends or family members, even though they are far away from you. When we first released this feature, it's a transfer feature, we were not 
really thinking about re releasing this feature, but because of the COVID-19, people were not able to see, meet other people in person. So we thought uh, re releasing this kind of feature would be great. At the same time, Merpay Smart Payment, uh, we released a, a fixed payment. People were uh, paying for items they have bought on the following month, but uh, with this feature, our users can pay in installments for a longer period of time. And because COVID-19 have affected a lot of people and many people were worried about their money situation, financial situation. So we wanted to release this feature in order to help people. After that, uh, integration with the payment in 2019, we implemented a shared QR. We wanted to work on the shared QR code uh, feature. So we decided to collaborate with uh, Docomo in order to implement this uh, shared QR code payment feature. So having different kinds of QR code can be complicated. So we decided to have just one single QR code for payment. In addition to this, we wanted to make it possible for people to send or donate money to those who are having hard time or affected. So we decided we released the Mercury donation feature. Uh, with this feature, users can uh, donate the uh, money they have received through transactions in Mercury. After that, we released a new feature, Growing Wallet. In the current situation, many people are worried about their financial situation. And of course, it's important to provide a feature which allows people to pay installments, but a lot of people are worried about their future. Especially this kind of feeling was strengthened by the COVID-19. So we wanted to make it possible for people to invest. Of course, investments can be tricky, but with this feature, our users can do investment with the sales balance they received through Mercari, we collaborate with the company called Funds in order to provide this investment feature. So in 2021, COVID-19 is still uh, going. Um, it's not subsided yet, uh, but we are planning to release more features this year as well. In March this year, we released a real card. I think you can see your real card if you open the Merpay tab. This Apple Pay system is related to the credit card uh, infrastructure. So by showing these like information such as user information such as phone number, our users can uh, make purchases in other websites by using this kind of information. We also released one more feature and I also had an interview about this feature and some of you already read it. And we released the individual card number feature EKYC and identity verification is something we have been focusing on at Merpay. With EKYC, you can take your picture in order to identify yourself. In, addi addi in addition to this, in order to increase the number of people who use smartphone payment, we wanted to you know, do point integration with the individual 
card number card. So we wanted to use uh, make it possible for our users to use their individual card number card in order to do EKYC because your individual number card can serve as your identification ID. And we use JPKY, public key infrastructure, for this feature. And we used this card for the first time as a smart for payment. If you haven't done EKYC, I want you to do it. And it's pretty useful as infrastructure. And we can do, we can use this uh, individual number card for identity verification as well as prevent fraudulent activities on the marketplace. And I think this feature is going to play an important role going forward. Interpreter switch. And we're also focusing on creating trust, which is our MeriPay's mission. And many people are aware that MeriPay has been focusing on creating trust, so I want to talk about this interpreter switch. Oh. For example, when you try to create a credit card, you're asked about what kind of job you have, how many, how much money you earn, as well as so this kind of attribute information is often used for creating credit card. But uh, we wanted to make it possible for users to build trust based on their uh, activity history on the marketplace. In order to do this, we utilize AI as well as data. So this is a new way of creating trust. As I touched upon, on Mercari, you can make transactions for items, whatever items you want and you don't need. And sellers, they can uh, send their items they have sold for buyers. They make payments as well as write the seller after receiving the items they have bought. So for uh, just a single transaction, involves a lot of activities between users. And based on this, uh, these activities, we can decide whether uh, this user is trustable or not. Interpreter switch. More importantly, we can utilize technology in order to prevent fraudulent activities.
So after that, we wanted to create environment and we wanted, we have been investing in a lot of technologies. After releasing a lot of features, first we started with the payment feature. But Merc Mercury MerPay evolved into FinTech service. Of course, there are different kinds of FinTech services. From create service which creates trust, we became the FinTech service. L. So MerPay is a new FinTech service for the Mercury Group. Today, you know, I'm here to talk about what what I wanted to tell you. But there's a question for me, which is, what is payment? This is something we have been discussing within the company a lot of times. You know, we became the fintech service from the payment service. But what is payment? This is kind of a philosophy, but uh, what I want you to think about this question. The reason is that because I think the payment is really important. People tend to think the payment is just about, uh, you know, make paying money at restaurants or like other places, but the payment is a collection of important technologies. That's something I wanted to tell you today. To put it simply, payment is about uh, authentication and authorization. You know, we this is stamp seal because you know in the past uh, we were using stamp seal for authentication authorization, but which is not important. But you know, I just want you to understand the payment is about authentication and authorization because payment is about confirming who is making payment, and after that, you know, merchants take a look at this person and if this person is really re reliable or not for making payments. Of course, there are a lot of issues, fraudulent activities happening for payment. It's also related to the issue of authentication and authorization. So I just talked about the individual number card. You know, we ask people to log in with different ways, such as SMS authentication, as well as showing the individual number card. By integrating authentication authorization, we can do payments, but without authentication authorization, we cannot provide payment service. Because we can't see if the user is reliable or not. And authentication authorizations are used in different uh, purposes, such as Google login, Facebook login. And these systems are related to you know payment system. This is pretty important concept, but many people are not really paying attention to this. So I wanted to share this uh, story with you today. So there's one more story that I wanted to talk about, which is about Mercoin. So I just talked about the Mercury Tech Conference that I held, that we held in 2018. And over the years, it's been three years since we held Mercury Tech Conference. And during that time, we talked about crypto assets, blockchain technology, and how we can utilize these technologies. This is something we have been discussing within the company, you know, making it possible for our users to make payments with Bitcoin, but not only that, we want to think about what we can achieve using these technologies. 
So, you know, we can think about how we can utilize these technologies at Merkel interpreter switch. So thinking back then, we talked about our mission, creating trust for a seamless society. So within that, when I talked about credit and some of the some other examples I gave regarding fraud and trust in terms of safe and secure transactions that aren't fraudulent, but there's also the concept when we look at currency. That's one other example we can look at here. So within that, within Mercari X, within blockchain, within this new concept of money, this is one of the things that led us to establishing Mercoin. So for Mercoin, currently we are not building a separate currency. However, when I talked about utilizing blockchain for our product, that's something we want to do as a company, but we have yet to establish our mission and it's something we're currently working on you may have been expecting to hear the mission today but in place of that i can share a bit about what we are focusing on and last so this is not our official mission yet but the idea is to be able to utilize blockchain i imagine many of those listening here today are very interested and excited about blockchain crypto technology. So that's something I would like to discuss a bit more. Going back to Mercari X. So when we announced this, we talked about discovering value, exchanging value, and basically creating trust. So these are our three pillars here that we can break down Mercari X into, and then provide a platform for transactions. So all these three things together are what created Mercari X. But what we want to be doing going forward is switch that over to blockchain. So in that sense, for Mercoin, these are going to be our three main topic, three main focus areas going forward. For the exchange of value, the, the creation of value, that's something we're going to be focusing on going forward. But also, we need to ensure we have the proper platform in place to do so. That's more from the Merpay side of the story. So likely this is what we're going to see for a kind of mission for Mercoin. We first announced this in 2018. And to begin from 2017, we have been working on these experiments internally and also working on some research through our R4D organization. These are just some examples of the kinds of investments we have made in technology so far. So that includes exchange of value and also establishing a board for R4D, where we bring in external advisors to work on research together with us. And in 2017, we also acquired a patent for working on this technology. Working on Mercari X is one thing, but we also began preparations for launching Mercoin. So what exactly does Mercoin refer to? I understand I haven't really provided a clear answer to that, so let me go a bit more into this next. So put simply, this goes back to what we have already announced, but basically we want to provide the opportunity to exchange different types of value. Interpreter switch. For exchange for currencies, and the other one is that NFT, which stands for non-fungible token, the transaction of NFT is something we want to achieve. And we're thinking of creating marketplace for users to uh, make transactions for NFT. And Mercury has been working on secondary distribution and marketplace. And we want to create a new environment for our users to make transactions for crypto assets. That's something we want to do at Mercoin. Of course, um, next I'd like to show you what our screen will look like for after implementing Mercoin. For example, as you can see, our users will be able to make payments with Bitcoin as well as uh, make purchases with Bitcoins, Bitcoin. So within the Mercury app, uh, our users will be able to see and make 
exchange new values. So for with Mercury, we have been focusing on exchanging items, and at Merpay, we were focusing on exchanging of trust and credit, as well as and preventing fraudulent activities. And with Mercoin, we want to work on these things, and we want to advance or evolve these areas with new technologies. For example, creating mark marketplace is something we want to do, as well as exchanging new values such as ownership rights and security tokens. Of course, it can be called as digital contents because it's a collection of new concepts and technologies and crypto assets is one of the things we are going to work on. Of course, owing something is different, but uh, giving something to others is also important. So such as like donating money that we are doing at Merpay. Overall, we want to create a new marketplace where our users can make transactions for not only items, but other things such as credit, as well as like NFT and other uh, items. And we are going to utilize blockchain technology, but what is blockchain in the first place? You know, people have different definitions of blockchain, but uh, Sometimes it's called uh, leisure, and it's it's a collection of technologies such as cryptographies, as well as public key infrastructure. And we are going to utilize different kinds of technologies in order to create Mercoin. Mercury never pay. We have been uh, using and integrating different kinds of technologies and also cloud technologies, cloud QW technologies for development. So in that sense, uh, what we're going to do for Mercon is the same as what we have been doing for Mercury and Merpay, but for Mercoin, we are going to utilize new technologies such as uh, blockchain in order to see who made what transactions as well as to store the data to do this public key infrastructure is going to play an important role. And Mercoin is going to be uh, pretty important for both Mercury and Merpay. And people with from these companies are working on Mercoin at the moment. So we are going to capitalize on what we have learned through Mercury and Merpay. So Mercoin is the new uh, Mercury and Merpay. Of course, creating building trust is going to be a new concept for Mercoin as well. And this is going to be also important for creating a new marketplace. To sum up, distributed marketplace is something we want to achieve at Mercoin. On the left side, this is something we have been doing for Mercari, uh, create environment where our users can make transactions in a safe and secure manner. But in, the, in Mercoin, we want to make it possible for our users to uh, make transactions for a lot of things, not only items, but money and trust. So with blockchain and new technologies, we want to create a new values as well as economy and make it possible for our users to exchange them.
So that's what we want to achieve through Mercoin. Uh, the future of MerPay and Mercoin is that, you know, as I said, fintech is of course important, but not only that, we want to do something else. And we want to combine something new with fintech in order to uh, update Mercoin and MerPay. We will introduce different kinds of new technologies and as fintech evolves, I think our services will also evolve. And by uh, connecting different kinds of services, we can evolve even more. We can connect our services to not only Mercari, but other services in order to uh, evolve further. And through our services, We want to update other services as well as uh, values. So last for me is that uh, we want to improve society through technologies at Mercury, Merpay, and Mercoin. Of course, we might encounter different different kinds of issues along the way. However, our customers as well as people in the society are important and we want to think about how we can improve society for these people. And we want to find solutions to issues we are going to encounter and we would like to utilize new technologies to get rid of these issues. That would be all for my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.